The first tutorial in this series is going to look at creating and editing joints. I'm going to be using a human arm to demonstrate this. In order to create joints in the correct positions, you need to have first done your research so you understand the bone placement of your character, whatever that may be. Um, so the first thing that I want to do is to create the joint. And we need to make sure that we're in the rigging context menu here and then you can do it a number of different ways I'll show you two you can go to skeleton create joints or if you can find the rigging menu along here then you can click on the create joints button and when we do this we enter the create joints tool and it gives us a little crosshair to show where we're going to be placing the joints um, one thing that I want to mention is that it's really handy to have projected centering on. Um, I'm going to show you what this does in a second. And to turn that on, if you locate your tools, uh, tool settings, you can check that on. And so what this will do, I'm just going to go into the top view, is when we click to position our um, joint, it is going to position it as centered in the geometry as it can. Sometimes it gets it wrong, but we can correct this. Um, so that's my first joint for the shoulder. And then I'm going to place my second joint for the elbow. And I'm going to place this uh, slightly further back in Z. And I'll explain in a second why. And we'll see we've placed two joints. We now get a bone that connects them. And then I'm going to place my third joint at the wrist. And then I'm going to hit enter to finish that chain. And if we go into this view, we can see that Maya has um, positioned it in the center of our geometry. So the reason that I positioned the elbow bone further backwards is because we need to tell Maya um, which way it bends. So when we add our IK handle, um, it bends in the correct way. So that's the reason for positioning. And you would do the same if you were um, adding the bones for the knee. So that's how you create the joints. If you want to add further joints to an existing chain, then all you can do is re-enter the joint tool. I've got my crosshairs back. And then you can click on the last joint in the hierarchy and then you can carry on positioning your joints and I'm just doing this for the pinky and I'm going to put one on the end and I'm going to hit enter okay so I've now added the fingers onto the end um, and if we look Maya has tried again to position that in the center for us I'm going to press G to use the last tool that was used, which was our joint tool, and I'm going to continue adding the joints for the fingers. And press enter when I get to the end. So there we have our joints. So if we want to uh, reposition a joint, we're not quite happy um, with where it's sitting. So this one here, for example, I actually want it to be where the bend should be in the finger, which is where I have more edge loops. So I can hold down D and then I can enter my move tool and I can oops, hold down D um, to enter pivot mode and I can move and I can just edit that joint. If I don't hold down D and I move, it's going to move all of the child joints so you can see that the rest of the finger isn't sitting where it should. So I'm just gonna undo that. So hold down D with your move tool selected and then you can reposition your joints. Um, so I'm just going to go and spend a little bit of time uh, readjusting 
where my joints sit, make sure that they are in the correct place. Um, like so. Ah, I also want to make sure that this is set to object and then when I move, it moves um, along the line of the bone. So this one didn't do a very good job of the um, projected centering. So now that I've positioned and I've edited my joints, I am going to name them. And so this top one here is the um, humerus. So I'm going to name BN for bone underscore um, left L because it's the left um, arm so when we mirror this is really important to help left and right and then I've got to spell this right humerus okay and then we can go down and do B N L elbow and continue down the chain so that's how you create joints and how you also can edit them